My name is Henry Johnson. I'm the COO of La Hose Hair and Wigs, and I am a Gulf War Navy veteran. I was in the Navy about four years, and eventually I got out and I decided, you know what, I wanted to open up a business. And that has been my passion, and that really brings us to where we are today. But as a business owner, veteran, as well as my master's is in theology, thought I was gonna be a pastor, but my bachelor's <laughs> is in business management. So everything about me is business, and I'm the operational uh, component of our business. And thank God for him, because he really runs the business. My name is Haith Johnson, and I am the CEO of La Host Hair and Wigs, and I have the awesome opportunity to be married to this guy now for close to 30 years. Yes. For about 25 years, we've been in business, and we have owned and operated about four salons. Uh, long story real short about us, we're from Detroit, Michigan. We're natives of Detroit, Michigan. We've lived there all our lives. And even though we both look like we're 21, we have been in business for 25 years. And it's been an amazing journey. And how we got here to North Las Vegas is, this gentleman here, no, we have the best hair care products, one of the best hair care products anyway, on yes. the market. Yes, you better and, believe it. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened is we wanted to pitch to Walmart. And so he applied for open call, two, uh, was it 2000, 20, 2019? 2019. Yes. So 2019, and we both got that letter that no entrepreneur wants from Walmart, which is, thank, thank you, you, but, but unfortunately. unfortunately. <laughs> so... It didn't matter. This guy is not a quitter and he said, I'm going to apply again. But what we started doing is really just, we put our hands to the plow and we didn't look back and we put everything in place so that they would not tell us no. Because at the time <clears throat> that we were getting ready to pitch, our business just somehow hit a pack. And, and and we thought we were going to really actually close the business down after all these years of hard work, after our staff had left. It was so much. So this is right before COVID. And so we really thought we were going to close the business down. And then he applied again. And in 2020, we got that yes. letter that... That says yes. Yeah. And so it let us know that we were able to pitch for 2020. And... Um, we were so excited. We talked to the buyer of Walmart that's in our department, which is hair care products. So our hair care products is shampoo, conditioner, our number one seller, which we sell all over the world. Now, I can't say this because I'm a licensed cosmetologist of 35 years mm -hmm. and Unlock is the best hair detangler on the market period, hands down. That's my opinion. I'm sticking with it. But <laughs> <laughs> nevertheless, we were able to pitch. They gave us 400 stores across the country along with... I think in over 25 states. Yeah, I think well. it's over 25 states now. So we are no longer a mom and pop store trying to make it. We have been launched and catapulted to a national brand. And that's exciting. It's a lot of hard work. But it's exciting. It is. It is. And what happened is for 2020, Walmart had called us. They wanted to feature us for um, Open Call 2021, I believe. So, yep. They, yeah. So what they did is they sent a film crew to our store back in Detroit to capture our story. Because Doug McMillan. Actually, which is the CEO of Walmart. He was able to highlight our business as one of the businesses that work with uh, young girls that have been rescued from human trafficking. So that is our component. And we really believe in connecting a community or a cause to your, how do you say it? She says it's so much better. Well, okay. So basically what we believe, the sustainability of any entrepreneur and keeping their business going forward, you connect a community cause to your company and exactly. that's how you have sustainability. And we did that and Walmart found out about it. We were in the Black Enterprise uh, magazine and they found out about it and they called us. So the relationship that we have with Walmart has just grown, it's been nurtured and cultivated to this amazing journey to where we are now. And we was featured and spotlighted, like I said, for um, open call for 2021. And in doing so, like I said, they sent a film crew in and they sent some executives and they interviewed us and they seen physically our store. 
So they looked at our store and they said, and they came back to us. They said, how would you like to take your store model from Michigan and bring it into a Walmart store? Across the country. Acro and wait a minute, franchise Franchise Across the country. <laughs> now, you know, that's a no brainer. That is a no brainer. So we were like, like well, oh. hold on, let me see what I'm doing on Thursday. Nah, nah, I can fit it in. Yeah, we were like, absolutely. We absolutely. were so determined that this could not fail. And I'm telling you again, superhero, I call him Superman. He, he says, you know what? We began to make a plan. And in two months, we packed up everything, everything we had. We thing. sold our business back home. And the reason why we did that is because they told us, what state do you want to start? Well, I knew we had really... We, uh, we had maxed out Michigan, and I believe we had really kind of came We built up a great following in Michigan. We did. So that was really good. But then I just we wanted to expand. She wanted to get out of <laughs> Michigan, go somewhere else, and she knew her mother. Her actually mother lived in Las yes. Vegas, so, so we had family here. So we came to Las Vegas just to check out the land, and we said, this is it. Yeah, when we you got know, we here, just knew we knew this was it. Yeah. They gave us like six stores to go look at, to pick from. It was one in Reno. It was some other ones, some names we can't even pronounce. <laughs> and uh But the wonderful thing about North Las Vegas is that it's up and coming. Oh, it's I growing love it. I love so it. So fast. Yes. And that is exciting because um with growth comes great opportunity. Right. So that's what we're looking for, great opportunity in North Las Vegas. And that's what we know. When you take big risk, you get big rewards. And so we knew that once we got here and we uh, decided on the actual store, we wanted to launch our pilot store. So our pilot store is located in, of course, Walmart on eight, what is it? 1807 Craig Street. Yes. So it's located there and we're actually going to open up, which is our grand opening. <laughs> we're so excited. We've been it's through August so much. Six. Yes, August 6th. August 6th is finally. grand opening. We have invited so many people. <laughs> you know, we have dignitaries coming. We have, of course, we family joined, and friends. Wait a minute. Of course, we had to join the Las Vegas Chambers of Commerce. So we're part of that. And since we've joined that, has been an amazing introduction for us as business owners yes. to North Las Vegas. So we're able to go out and support other business owners and go to their ribbon cutting. And, and we will like have that. our own ribbon cutting on August, August the 6th at uh, actually 1 p.m. right at 180... 07 West Craig, Craig is Road. West Craig Road. Yes. Uh, located in Walmart, right near the. I, I have to tell people this because Walmart is it's the superstore we're in. It's right over there near the, um, the farm, home, home and, and pharmacy. pharmacy. So we're super excited about that. Matter of fact, we're just getting in and uh, from working really hard. That's what we do. <laughs> and uh, it's been fun. It's been a journey. And so after six to 12 months, We'll go over numbers with Walmart, and guess what? We get to pick another a pl another state, and so and we'll be going from state to state, city to city, and taking what we learn and what we know to help young women yes. and help these ladies that really are inspired and want to get a wig. Absolutely. They not only have to wear a wig because some of them do, right. but they want to wear wigs as well. Because COVID taught us all that when all the salons closed, that's really when our business took off as well. People needed to be Zoom ready. So people that never considered wigs or weaves or hair extensions, once that COVID hit and the salons were done, our business catapulted to a whole nother level. And again, we believe in connecting the community calls to your company. And that's what we've done. A part of the proceeds that people, when you purchase from us, it goes back to a youth home that's back in Detroit for young girls that's been rescued through human trafficking. We know the power of forgiveness and we also know the power of entrepreneurship and ownership. So we work with them through a 12 week program and we are still doing it. We've been doing that for 20 years. Like I said, like he said, 
He thought he was going to be a pastor. And in a sense, he is. He pastors me. <laughs> but uh, that's what we do. We also have a program uh, for women that have been diagnosed with cancer. And it's called, that campaign is called Fighting Pretty with a Wig. Since you're in the fight of your life, let us take care of your hair and you get better. That's another program that we also have. Another program we offer is for veterans where we give away free wigs to ladies that may have been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress, cancer, absolutely. thyroids, high blood pressure. And they're losing their hair. Correct. So we're able to give them free wigs and uh, provide them that particular type of service. And if anyone wants to get in touch with us, all they have to do, they can email us at haith at Lahose Hair. And henry at lahosehair.com, as well as you can call us at 702-399-2341. I'm so impressed that he knows our biggest number already. <laughs> yes, we love helping. We love assisting. So if anything that anyone can, um, that we can assist anyone while we're here, this is why we've been sent here. And we're so grateful again for this opportunity. Thank you and have a blessed day.